Welcome to beautiful British Columbia, just like it says on the license plate. Mm -hmm. And this is the first episode in our series for Geo Woodstock. And we'd like to welcome everyone. We know Geo Woodstock will be over when you start watching this. But we'd like to invite you to share in our adventures for Geo Woodstock and everything that was involved around it. Again. A mound. Well, here's the mound. Oh. And guess what? There's a pile of logs a under suspicious. the mound. A suspicious pile of logs. Yes. Boom. Did you bring a pen? I did. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> Peeking through the jungle, we got it. Oldest cache in BC. Awesome. We're going to start with a bang on this episode. Boom! Heave! Heave! Oh, come on. <laughs> Gonna have to kick it. Had to go to the person with the superior hand strength. Or maybe not. <laughs> That's a toughie. There we go. Whew. Awesome. Got it. Yeah, that one's good. Putting the logs back, I discovered not one, but two giant slugs. They're huge. Check out the size of these things. They're massive. See my picture? I can send it to you if you want to put it in. I guess everything's big in BC. I'm still 16 meters off, but this looks like a fabulous location for a cat. Yeah, my phone is still showing. We got a bushwhack, something like 20, 22 meters. Well, let's have a look. Oh, guess what? Huh. My phone is 16 meters off. Oh. Yay. Got it. This one is on our target list because it was originally published in May of 2001. And the first one that we found, BC's oldest and first geocache, was February 2001. Two oldies, right off the bat. That's awesome. We're now in world-renowned Stanley Park. And we're targeting three geocaches here. A traditional, an earth cache. And a virtual. Yeah. found the traditional, it's too hard to find. No, once the coordinates zeroed in on the cache location, yep. London Westie had it just like that. Yeah, our first thought was that it was on the fence, but then I took a little look over the wall and there it was. Can you see where the cache was? Can you see it? Do you see where it was? That's right, under that rock, which is not really a rock. got the earth cache, the traditional, and stage to an adventure lab. But now we need the virtual cache, so we're just traveling towards the highway to get that one. This is one busy place for a virtual, but the good thing it's not in the traffic. It's around the corner where you can't see it from the drive. Got the answers and we'll put that in and I'll take my picture with the lion to show that I was here. It doesn't look like much. 
much now, but once upon a time, back somewhere around Expo 86 here in Vancouver, this was a Japanese garden. It's kind of fallen into a bit of disrepair because the city moved it to another location, but the essence of the garden still remains. It's not for the garden that we're here, it's for the multi-cache that's based on this park that we're after because its rating is a two, four and a half and we don't have a two, four and a half multi-cache. So we want to add that to complete our fizzy grid of just multis. So Lyric Glass is now taking the information of how many bolts held the plaque which is now missing, and how many benches there are in the park, and doing a, a calculation to figure out where the final is, and hopefully we can figure it out and we get lucky. I see it, it's right there, right there. See it on your right shoulder. Yeah, oh I my see gosh. It. I just can't get up there. Somebody's cut the branches yeah. off. Now that's what we're talking about. A two, four and a half. Awesome. Well done. And now the trick is to get it back. But it was a good thing that it was hooked onto the branch and not secured, because otherwise we never would have been able to get that one. Well, maybe not never. I would have given it a try. No, I wouldn't, really. And sometimes, something like this is simple enough to be a tot, a tool of the trade. A Ricci stick. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found. Where will geocaching take, take you?